Hello everyone, welcome to the Nilesh Technology. So in this video we are going to discuss about the props with the class component. In the last video we already discussed the how to use the props in a function component. But uh, if the any developer or the any students is like to work on a class component, then that uh, people is help to this video. Okay, so let's begin it. So first again I repeat it. What is the props? So in the functional component we use directly the props, but in class component we need to use the this dot the props because that prop is we use the props inside the class and whatever we want to use to define inside the class it required the this so props are the argument passed into the react component and it stands for the properties okay so let's see the one a one program using the class component so inside that uh, the vs code i create a one more project uh, it's a project number it's a, it's a 11 and this is the props with the class okay so this npm start is uh, uh, npm i is already done let me start the server npm start yeah it started server is started let me convert uh, this program in the app.js into the class okay so this is the const app let me convert the class app and that app need to extend the component it's inside the react dot component or you can import the component like import the react from react and uh, let me save those changes i think uh, i need to restart the vs code maybe some problem is occurred let me restart it okay so go to the 11 npm start okay and uh, here the component sorry uh, okay it's uh, actually react dot component fine uh, here we need to change it like we need to call the render method and inside that we need to return something okay so inside this return constructor and uh, let me define this dot uh, okay i think first i need to test it the app component why the app component is not work does not match the corresponding name on this react react okay sorry this one is there are small okay this is the class component so save the changes class component okay okay for, so first test it uh, the state related changes but uh, before that let me create a one more component in here uh, right click 
new file for example demo.js okay so rafce and uh, this is also class extends react dot component we need to use the render method inside that this is the demo okay so this one is the cl class component of demo and this one is again a class component of uh, app so inside here in render and after that demo is called so class component and demo okay so these two components is called one by one and both are the class component okay let me print this one is under the h1 so it look like same now if i want to pass the some information from one class to another class for example i want to pass the name nilesh and i want to get this the value in here okay in here so how to get this the value so this value is get directly by the this dot props dot name so see demo nilesh so not required to define the props in anywhere so props is uh, the already uh, predefined uh, the variables okay you you need to just uh, you need to know the name of that the properties whatever property is coming from the other component so let me check the console console dot log props equal to comma this dot props okay so let's see props name equal to nilesh so like that uh, the data is passed from the one component to another component using the class component similarly if you pass the uh, another data like country equal to country equal to india sorry uh, double quote okay country equal to india and uh, in the in the demo.js so let's try the sorry in here let's try to call the demo one more time okay for example nilesh 123 in123 so accordingly the the component is render multiple time okay let me refresh it to avoiding the repeating call go to the index.js remove this the strict mode save it so it's called the three time and in the demo.js similarly you print the country as well this dot props dot country so here country is also printed so there is much more there is no major difference in between these uh, two props in using function and using the class so both is working most of these things are the common or the similar okay so i hope you guys understand the concept how to pass the props from the one component to another component okay so i ask one question interview related question in last video so like uh, uh, can we uh, send uh, one whole function as a props uh, to the other component so the answer is yes we can pass the whole function as a props to the uh, another component but i will show you the detail example in some upcoming videos because uh, it's a it's a big concept you need to understand each and every things how to send it how to retrieve it how to call it 
how to render it so each and everything we will cover in some upcoming videos so yes the answer is yes we can pass the whole function as a props from one component to another component okay so the another interview question is like can we send the html design code in between the component calling like that in the app.js you call the demo okay so for example i call the demo like this and i pass the some html related code inside this component so can we pass the some html code in between this uh, component calling syntax okay so just think about think about it uh, that question interview question so i will give you the answer in the next video okay so i hope you like this the video and uh, in the in the next video we will see how to handle the input field or the text field okay how to get the data whatever we type in inside that the text field in the next video we will see the the uh, input field related the example okay so please like and subscribe this channel to get the more update related to this the series uh, so i hope you like this the video okay so see you on next video bye bye take care thank you